I'm Billy Jo from Instructional Tech. Savas realized the online component to our elementary literacy and social studies textbooks has had a facelift. In this video, we will check out how to navigate the basics and customize your settings. I'll show you how teachers and students log in to Savas Realize, how to add the curriculum products to your classes for your students to access, how to explore the Savvis Realize home screen, how to understand the class card. We will explore the menu. I'll show you how to view and add programs and how to change or view the student themes. The first step to logging into Savvis Realize is logging in through Clever. You can easily access the Elkhart Community Schools Clever link on the staff and or student site. This is for staff and students. Once you've went to the staff or student site, you will then scroll down, choose Clever, and log into Clever. Once Clever loads, you will scroll down and under Online Textbooks, choose Savas Easy Bridge. It may prompt you type in ELKH and select Elkhart Community Schools and tap Go. Once you've logged in to EasyBridge as a teacher, you may see a screen that looks like this. The very first time at the beginning of the school year, every school year, you will need to set up your classes. In this case, the upcoming school year class is not showing, but by selecting Future Classes, it now appears. You will then decide, are you going to add your My View for K-5 or My Perspectives for Grade 6 in Language Arts or in Reading? Once you have decided, choose Add Products and then scroll down and select the grade level that you teach. It is very important to not choose any other or multiple grade levels, just the grade that you teach and you want students to have access to the online textbook. So if you are a grade three teacher, you will select grade three and then choose save. If you're a sixth grade teacher, you should choose both My Perspectives and My Perspectives Plus for your students. You'll want to repeat this process for your social studies curriculum as well by choosing Add Products in the Social Studies class. Scrolling down, you will find My World. Choose the grade level you teach by checking the box and then choosing Save. You will only need to do this one time at the beginning of the school year. Every time you log in to Savvis Easy Bridge through Clever, you will see this screen. But to access Savvis Realize, all you need to do is tap on the Savvis Realize button every time. This is the same for your students. Welcome to Savvis Realize. You will now see your classes that you added products to. So in this case, Grade 3 Reading would have access to the My View Grade 3 curriculum. And Grade 3 Social Studies will have access to the My World Grade 3 program. For each class in Realize, you will see a class card where you can easily find important information about the assignments associated with your class. You can also access the students and groups, the data, and the programs with a single click. Along the top, you will see the menu that stays the same no matter what page you're on. You can easily return to the home screen by tapping home. You can browse all your programs, access all your classes, and create a custom content in your library. You can also search for curricular resources, see notifications for when content has been shared with you, receive help navigating Realize, and to even launch a tour showing you all of these features. 
You can also access and edit your account information and of course sign out. Along the right side is the area that shows the programs you have added as a teacher. This is different than the programs you've added to your classes on that first Easy Bridge screen. To view the materials in a program, you will simply click on a program from the section on the right under My Programs or choose Browse in the top menu. My Programs provides one-click access to the digital content, lessons, assessments, and interactive student and teacher editions for all your Savvis programs, My View, My Perspective, and My World. When you tap on Browse, your program materials appear in a thumbnail view. As a teacher, you may want access to content that is above or below your grade level. For example, this third grade teacher has access to grade two materials and grade one materials because this teacher may want to assign content below the grade three level. To add additional programs, simply tap your name in the top right corner, select settings, open the tab my programs, and then any of the unchecked boxes can simply be checked for my view and also my world. Once you have selected all the programs you would like to have access to, you will choose Save. In the About Me tab, you can change your profile image from any of the choices shown on the screen. You can also change the name Student C when you have assigned assignments, discussions, or other things. You can also select the grade that you teach. The grade you teach should already be selected. But if you notice a mistake, you can uncheck and check again. When you have finished making all your selections, simply tap Save. Returning to the Browse menu, you will see your added programs. When students open up their Savvis Realize, they have the option to have two different views. You, as the teacher, need to set up the view that your students will see. The first option is the traditional view. When students log in, they have a class card, they have a top menu, and they can access their programs along the right. In the Early Learning Realize theme, students have limited options. They may choose from My Work or to Explore. If you want to check which themes your students have or change the theme that your student has, simply tap on Students and Groups. Any student that shows the icon EL in front indicates that student has the early learning view. If you want to change the student theme, tap change student theme and any student with a checked box will have an early learning theme and any student without a check in the box has the traditional view theme. You can change by deselecting or selecting. You do not have to have all students on one view or the other. This is a great opportunity to customize for your students' needs. Once you have made all your selections, be sure to tap Save. Let's take a look at some content and how it's laid out. When you select Browse, you then need to select the program you want to work from. So if I'm a third grade teacher, I'll choose My View Literacy Grade 3 or My World Social Studies Grade 3. The layout is very similar. I'll choose Literacy Grade 3. Along the left side is a table of contents. You can scroll down and access any of the items along the left by tapping 
on the right side, you can also search resources by name or topic, set filters, choose standards, or browse by category. If I choose on the left side, Unit 1, on the left, Table of Contents populates all materials in Unit 1. I then can decide what I want to select. Perhaps I'll choose Unit 1, Week 1. Then all materials within Unit 1, Week 1 populate and choose until I found what I'm looking for. To go back, I simply just press this back arrow or I can choose my view literacy to get back to the main table of contents. If you are looking for an item and don't know where to go, search resources is very handy. Let's say I need to search main idea. 237 results have been found. I am able to scroll through, click on an item to preview, tap the three dots to assign, add to playlist, or view more information. If you add items to a playlist, you then select a playlist that you've already created or create a new playlist. If my PLC team is working on locating materials for Main Idea, I may create a new playlist. I may title it Main Idea and then create the playlist. I have now added the content to my playlist Main Idea. I can close and continue my search or go to my playlist. I'll choose Go to Playlist. All playlists are included in My Library. We are in the playlist Main Idea and there is one activity. Since my PLC team and I are working on these resources, I can share this playlist with my PLC teammates. The great thing is Savis Realize recognizes the teachers in your building. You will only need to type the last name of the teacher or teachers you wish to share this with. Select the name, add a message if you wish, and then tap share. I have now shared that playlist. Now that teacher will receive a notification indicating a playlist was shared with her. In the classes tab, you can select the class that you would like to focus on. If I choose grade three reading, for example, I can see assignments I have assigned to my class with how many students have turned in the assignment, what the class average score is, and if I tap the three dots, I can view data for the assignment, information, I can edit the assignment, or I can hide the assignment. Hide is like archive. It removes it from your view and it removes it from the student's view and assignment list. Along the left side, I can also choose data, and I can see class results by assignments for scores, progress, and usage. Remember, if you want to see data on just a specific assignment, in the assignment menu, select the three dots and choose view data. You will see an entire list of all of your students and if it's checked, complete the score on each question for just a standard analysis. You can also choose a question analysis, a student analysis, and a performance analysis. Remember to exit out of this, you simply tap the back arrow. In the students and groups section is where you can change the student theme as we looked at earlier and show groups. In the Discuss section, you can create a discussion prompt and assign the prompt that you've created with your students, all of your students, or just select students. Students are able to reply to the prompts easily from their class card or if they're in the Early Learning View, the My Work section. In the Settings tab, 
You cannot rename the class name. It is populated from PowerSchool, but you can change the class picture. You can view the programs you've designated in EasyBridge, and you can control the theme your students see for the entire class. This will be useful if you do not want to differentiate from one student to the next. Once you have made your changes and selections, choose Save. In the Program tab, you can simply choose your program just like you would do in the Browse menu or on the home screen, My Programs section. In the Social Studies class, you will view assignments, data, students and groups, discussions, settings, and programs for your Social Studies text. My World Grade 3, for example, for this teacher. You can always access the first four items from the home screen class card. Thanks for watching. Be sure to fill out the feedback form and get one PGP point if you're an Elkhart Community School staff member. Check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and our outstanding articles on our instructional blog. We are also on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.